Hi everybody, this is Jeff Stansfield from Advantage Video Systems. We're here at the Storage Vision Show at the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas. I'm here with Michael. Michael, hey there, How you good doing, Michael? You. Doing great. So you were passing out these chips, chips yeah. with his logo on it. Now, what is this logo all about? What are these well, uh, I'm actually here representing two organizations. Okay. One is the Trust Computing Group. And uh, what we've been around for years, we've been developing standards. Uh, it's about hardware components that do security. Oh, very so, cool. So uh, the latest one we're representing is what's called self-encrypting drives. So okay. your storage system or my storage system, uh, it, it, it should be protected. Absolutely. Everything on it should be encrypted. Yes. That's where data spends most of its useful life is in storage. Uh, so we're, so we're best to do encryption for stored data than in the storage device. That's Very true. simple concept. Sounds good to me. So, so self-encryption, uh, all the drive makers build it now. Yeah. Uh, the specs we built in TCG are very mature. Right. So uh, uh, they're all the drive, hard drive companies, all the solid state drive companies have it built in. There's no model difference. You buy a drive today, it's a self-encrypting drive. Nice. The, one, the, one, the one impediment is there's a little, little pushback in, on occasion in using uh, cryptography or security in general, even though this is very transparent technology. Right. So we have another organization called the Trusted Computing Group. Uh, not to be confused with a Luxor uh, $100 chip, of course. I'm going to try that later on. So yeah, we'll go together. We'll die <laughs> together. But the Drive Trust Alliance, which this represents, is doing uh, all the pragmatics. We're trying to get user adoption, higher adoption rate okay. of uh, self-encrypting drives. Yeah. They're all there. They're usable. They're transparent. And uh, yet there's some configuration differences for certain vendors that build it. And so our uh, Drive Trust Alliance has a drive si drivetrust.com website. DriveTrust.com. DriveTrust.com. Go visit. And uh, we've got a number of sponsors. And collectively, we're trying to make it easier to use. Okay. Simple to use. Uh, a lot of the IT managers don't understand the technology. So we want to get them to understand it, make everything simple, easy to configure. All the pragmatics are in the Drive Trust Alliance uh, built on top of the Trusted Computing Group standards. Very cool. Well, I thank you so much oh, for coming by it. and telling us about the two things. And definitely the standards organization, because I've worked with you guys on a couple of things. Oh, and, sure. Yeah. And a lot of my clients, you know, who, you know, like uh, Marvel and some of that, oh, who, yeah. really, who really need encryption, and even companies that we work with like Disney, you know, because they have all these laptops around oh, yeah. and they need Store encryption data. because... Hey, you can get your you can get your heart, your computer stolen. Uh, easy peasy. Well, the breach notification laws say explicitly, if you breach data, you got to tell the public. How Absolutely. embarrassing and expensive that can be. Absolutely. Yet, if you can prove that data was encrypted, like in a self-encrypting drive, you don't have to breach and notify. Very there you simple. go. So next time you don't hear about your data being yeah. no okay. stolen, you know it's encrypted. The best thing, the best day in security is when nothing happens. There you go. All right. All right we'll see you guys. <laughs>